Hi, 3D Printer Geeks. I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate the extrusion of your printer. This is a really important settings because if you extrude too much, you're going to see something like this. So here you have the three examples. This is under extrusion, the right amount of extrusion, and over extrusion. If you look at the right one, you see the top is pretty smooth, the bottom too, and the sides are flat. The under extrude one, you see you're missing plastic on the top, on the bottom too, and the sides there is gaps as you see here. And you can break it, break it easily. It doesn't have any structure to it. And the last one, the over extruded, the sides are over extruded. You see plastic oozing out. The top two is kind of a matte finish and too much plastic on the sides here. And the underbelly is so flat because there was too much plastic and you don't see any details of the first layer or almost none. Now that we know how to look for this problem, let's take a look at the printer and how to calibrate it. So the first thing you have to do is measure from the extruder up to say 12 centimeter and, and make a mark. Then you extrude say a hundred millimeters and you wait for it to extrude uh, all the way. Wow, what a nice ball. <laughs> Then I measure up, I'm at uh, 2.4. So since we asked for 100 millimeters of extrusion, so we got 96 millimeters out of 100, so it's 4%. So it's really easy to calculate the extrusion error uh, if you extrude 100 uh, millimeters. You just count the millimeters under or over, and that's the percentage that you need. Cool. So to correct the flow rate, you can use your printer inside the Tune menu when you start printing. You can also use your slicer in the flow rate section and correct it that way. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comments below. And if you want more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.